Hi everybody, this is Stephanie Nelson from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC. This is our 2019 updated rabbitry tour. So you're seeing just a bit of a walk around video. If you were to walk around my rabbitry, this is what you would see. If we go to a still picture, you're going to see that there's four long cages and there's one rabbit each except for the second cage and you have a mom and her six babies in there. There are wire cages with wire floors. This is a bit of a close-up. This is Arthur after being shorn. So the cages are four foot by two and a half feet. This is very long. Continuing walking, we do have a, a triple stack cage and um, this is more temporary housing for our rabbits before they move into the four foot cages. It was a very sunny day. And so this is underneath, it's quite dark. You get to see some of the tools. The pitchfork is a very important tool for removing the rabbit waste. And of course, a regular rake and we use wooden nest boxes. So the rabbits were just laying down and relaxing as we're walking through. They're not easily startled, they're not jumping around. And we have two different types of water bottles that we use. This is a good picture to show one of our bigger water bottles. And the next picture is gonna show one of the smaller water bottles that we use and two different types of attachments as well as the feeders that we use. You're going to see since it's warm and summer right now we want lots of breeze, lots of airflow to keep everyone cool. Only one of the rabbits uh, besides Arthur in the front had a full coat on. This is blue. He's got a partial coat on. He's next to the swing for the two-year-old. When women doing rabbitry chores, she needs to be safely contained. And that's her swing. The rabbits can see straight through to each other. And if we were to keep walking, you're gonna notice that there's uh, food stored. You don't actually get to see them, but food is stored in this container and that's something that's very important. Being able to keep your food from getting wet, keep it dry, this reduces the waste. Next to it, there's a black garbage can that keeps hay. That's just a little workbench. Underneath we have a couple more buckets of pine cones. We just give those to the rabbits occasionally for toys, something to play with, something to nibble on. Going back out, you can see a picture of the wheelbarrow. We use a pretty big wheelbarrow to collect all the waste. The waste gets removed, whether it's underneath or whether it's from the drop pan. I personally, I, I don't like drop pans at all. And if we keep walking past and turn the corner back around the way we came, the exercise pen is what we're going to be coming up to. This is the size exercise pen that we use. It's, uh, it's been around for quite a few years. It's starting to get a little rusty and eventually at some point it'll either need to be repaired or replaced. And the rabbits, uh, they're in the shade and um, it's also partially sunny at times depending on when we put them in. Here's just a few views of the comfrey plants. They were transplanted. Some are flowering and some are done flowering. Ever so often we pick off the leaves. This is what the leaves look like up close. We feed those to the rabbits. Um, we don't feed a lot of leaves at once. We don't feed them leaves of comfrey every single day. However, they truly enjoy these. And the very last bits of information to give just a little bit of video on our six 75% German Angora, 25% English Angora babies. They're eating pellets, mom's relaxing, they've got some pine cones you can see they're kind of putzing with in back. So that's our rabbitry update. There's a few things that will be added to this in wintertime. Obviously this is closed in. There's also wooden um, stands that are needed for the rabbits. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.